Marab de Velashvili defeats Sean O'Malley in the main event last night, and um, um, he's now the new bantamweight champion of the world. Life's fucking shit right now. Um, I put my life to this. Yeah. Um, my prayer didn't work. Um, nothing worked. My prediction was completely off. And um, wasn't correct. And Marab de Velashvili goes out there. Gets the job done. Yes! Let's go Marab! Marab de Velashvili, the Chad himself, beats Sean O'Malley. Woo! No! Fuck this, man. Terrible. Marab's champ. Bilal's now champ. They're taking over. Slowly but fucking surely. Makashev's champ. I don't mind Makashev, but... He fights sometimes like a fucking coward. Bilal fights like a coward. Rob fights like a coward. What's next? Ilya Tapiria gets ragdolled by Evloev? And that's it for Tapiria? Like, I don't... It's slowly getting worse and worse. And the UFC just... Like, Leon Edwards isn't a big star. The UFC is just there. Sean O'Malley just fucking lost. Convincingly, it wasn't like a robbery or this and that. It was a comp- more competitive fight than people fucking say. But like, and I'll get into it. But Marab de Lashley, he's no champ. He just took out UFC stars. This shows the UFC isn't rigged, it isn't corrupt. It just isn't, because they just had Shaw Mali fucking lose. Is he just lost? Their stars, Alexa Grosso, just lost dominantly. Boring fashion, but she lost 50-45. It's... <laughs> Alex Pereira gonna get chinned by Roundtree next? Like, what the fuck is going on? They, they It's a win-win in the Ilya Max fight. That's what they got there, because they're both massive stars. I think they more preferred Ilya to win, because he's undefeated, and you can sell him versus Makashev more than Holloway Makashev, because Holloway lost to Volk three times. That's gonna that's gonna really hurt him in terms of legacy there. But this just happened. Marab just fucking won, and I'm not happy about it. I've been pissy all day, which is why this is out a bit late. Marab's fucking champ. I really didn't want this to happen, and it fucking happened. And now we get Marab versus not some other striker that's fun. Umar Nurmagomedov. Worst of the worst, man. Worst of the fucking worst. But, like, it's not a good situation where we're at Bantamweight, and that's known to be one of the best divisions, and now it's fucking taken over by Marab and Umar. And same with Lightweight. Makashev and Armin Sarugian. Two of the best divisions in the UFC. Fucking done. Ran to the ground by these fucks. Featherweight's my best division, because we got fucking Lopez, a Chad, Ilya, a Chad, Holloway, a Chad, Volk, a Chad. All those guys are running it, and Lopez just took out Ortega, soy ass. And I'll break that down later as well in full card recap, but let's talk about the fight. Marab Dvalashvili beat Sean O'Malley. I think four rounds to one. That's my official score of this fight. I think O'Malley won the fifth round, just landing way too much shots on Marab. Hurt him with a front kick to the body. Um, and I think Marab just wanted out of there. Um, just like Bilal wanted out of there against Leon in the fifth round. But they slightly get the edge. It's fucking irritating! Listen, Shavkat. I'm just gonna say this real quick. Shavkat, you're not deserving, but I know they're gonna give you a shot anyways. Take him out! Knee to the fucking face puts Bilal out cold. Please. 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 Marab wins round one, I think. O'Malley was winning the round, but Marab took him down. Landed good shots as well, Marab. He did land good shots on O'Malley, and I think that did take over the round. I think he landed more shots than O'Malley, who did land decent shots early on. But, um, yeah, I think Marab did slightly win round one. Not slightly, I think he clearly won round one, but O'Malley did all right. Pelly stopped in the first 15 seconds. That is fucking risky, Marab. You're fighting a power puncher. First main event, first title fight, and you're stopping the fight. 
But apparently we know, t at first I was like, fuck Marab, why are you stopping this? You clearly don't want in this fight. And then, we found out you were screaming at Tim, Tim Welch, who was saying, you gotta go, uh, you gotta go, Marab. Tim Welch, lot to speak. A bit dirty, I will be honest here. A bit, I'll side off Marab for this one thing. A bit dirty. First 15 seconds, like, that just shows that they didn't really, Tim Welch really wanted O'Malley to get it out there early. If you're saying that already in the fight. Apparently, Marab heard it. I guess you can ignore it, but it's difficult to. When someone say Marab and it's, you know, voices, voices aren't different. Like, they're not far off unless you're, like, a different ethnicity. But they're both American. Marab's coach, Al Marab's coach are all, Marab's coaches are all American. Tim Welch is American. What's the difference, really? Aljo and Tim Welch sound similar as fuck. We move on. Marab wins round one. I think close. Comp no, not close. I think Marab clearly won round with the takedown. He landed a shot. He had a good knee to the thigh. Clear but competitive. That's where I'll put it as. Round two is Marab. He takes down O'Malley. Controls him for the whole round. Wins round two dominantly. And that's O'Malley losing two rounds there. Now round three. Marab win round two. Not much really mentioned. He just took down O'Malley. Landed like, yeah, landed at somewhat of a combination. Going side to side. But Rob had a decent game plan. I'll give it to him there. Round four. Round three, sorry. Close round. O'Malley's doing better this round. Landing his shots. I still think Marab won the round. He got his takedown. He was landing decent shots on the ground. Landing a lot of ground and pound. Good for Marab getting the damage in when he was. He's not actually inflicting damage, but he is landing strikes on the ground. Significant strikes in that. And I think he's slightly out-edged round three. Close round. That's a close round, I think. Clear, clear. First two rounds from Marab. Close third. Marab, I think, got it, though. Round four. Marab just takes him down again. O'Malley just looks so switched off, though, man. I'll br Let me just get through these fucking rounds first. Round four. Um, Marab wins the round. Just takes down Marley. Controlling him, just laying in full guard. and Or half guard, really. Not doing much. But he wins round four dominantly. Round five. O'Malley used to pull out the fire. O'Malley didn't... He looked switched off as fuck. That's not the shot O'Malley I, I see. That's not him at all. And I'm going to say... I'm going to give my reasons why he looked gun shy in this fight. Round five, O'Malley hurts him to the, to the, no, for a front kick to the body. Nearly looks like he hurts Marab, but O'Malley... The O'Malley I know, that I see, the one I predicted to win this by KO, would have fucking went for it. It said he's fucking throwing body kicks to hurt Marab, and it did hurt him. But, uh, and then he did still go for it, instead of going for the head. Why would you go for the head if you're, you're hurt to the body? He goes for them, but he's just being patient at range, like it's fucking round two. And that's it, O'Malley loses the fight. Wins the fifth round, in my opinion. It's a 4-1 Marab, 3-2 at best for O'Malley. For Marab. Marab wins 3-2 at best for O'Malley. He just looks so gun-shy, man. I was thinking of picking Marab, because I thought, you know what, he can do the, the exact same thing I thought he would do here. Because O'Malley doesn't throw hooks. Should have knew it coming into it, but I, I didn't. I didn't think it would be like that though. O'Malley just. I don't know, man. Just lost to Marab. I don't know what to say. Marab wins. Him versus Umar is gonna be next. I think Umar beats him. To be honest with you, I think he does beat him. I think he beats him. I think he beats him. I do think he beats him. Because Umar has better takedown defense, I think, than O'Malley. I think he's more built for O'Malley. Stop. I think he, he's more built. Because Umar, I'm seeing this now and now. All those too tall. That favors O'Malley. O'Malley was so fucking splintered. Marab's not a threat. Not like he has KO power. 
These guys are fucking scared, man. O'Malley didn't go side to side like I felt like he was going to. He was just centered like Peter Yan. And they lose. That's it. What the fuck is going on? You know? Aldo centered as fuck. And he did the best out of everyone uh, against... Other than you take out the rocking moments, which we'll get to. He did the best out of everyone against Marab. Marab couldn't do anything against him. Couldn't take him down. Oh, Aldo, man. He's gonna fucking smoke Batista's bum ass. And then take out fucking whoever's next. Aldo's a fucking savage. On the prelims as well. To make way for fucking Kevin Holland, Roman DeLindsey. Fuck off. Love Kevin Holland, but still. Fuck him. Fuck DeLindsey. Why is he there? But still, Henry Cejudo, these short, tanky guys, these short tanks, they do well against Marais Cejudo. They do well against Marab, I've noticed. These taller guys, Jan, who's around the same height, but he's not as tanky or like Volk, Volkish against Marab. Like Cejudo is, Marais is, these guys that can land tight hooks. So I think Umar is going to KO him, maybe. Or get a decision. I can see it. He's got good takedown defense. He's got Khabib. Look good against Sanhagen at the end of the day. First main event. And uh, I think Umar's threat, threat is power. I think O'Malley would give Umar problems. Honestly, that's a hot take. Suck we won't see it, though, because this fucker had to ruin everything. No Holloway fight for O'Malley. No Tapiria super fight. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at that fucking all. Ruined. Everything's fucking ruined, man. And now we gotta see Marab versus Umar. And root for Umar, sadly. Because everything's fucked. Everything's fucked. What if Oliver gets KO'd randomly by Chandler? I'll fucking quit, man. Honestly. Charles better save me. DDP save me. Charles is next. He needs to save me here. Or Stipe. Stipe. Holy shit. He eats John Jones. I'll fucking scream in happiness. That that fucking wife Peter lost. Anyways. Everything's ruined at Bantamweight. Everything's ruined. O'Malley will fight Sanhagen next. Couldn't give a fuck. Hopefully O'Malley sleeps him. I'm really salty about this. I hope O'Malley sleeps Sanhagen's ass. Puts him out. Or Cejudo. Who gets, who just keeps fucking talking. Like you didn't get fucking ragged up by Marab too. Alright. You suck, Cejudo. You're never good. Your whole legacy's a fucking fake. You fluked your career. Just gonna fucking put it that way. There's any Cejudo fans out there. He fluked his career. DJ fight was a fucking robbery. On damage, DJ won it. Dillashaw, good win. I'll give it to Cejudo there. Dillashaw fucking drained himself. If you went up and fought Dillashaw, he'd fuck you up too. Um, what else did he have? Marais at the, at the time, good win. Marais doesn't have a chin or have no... Marais has no chin... Or no fucking cardio. We found that out later time. But Cejudo was... Whoa. Coincidentally, the first guy to beat him. In the UFC. Or, it, well, in the, the streak Marais had. The hype Marais had. He was the first guy to derail it. And after that, he beat Cruz. Which is the most fraudest win ever. Because Cruz took it on... What? Two weeks notice? On short notice? Plus, he had a four-year layoff. That's stupid of me. So fucking dumb to me. Because Hero needs to shut up, man. His whole legacy is fucking fake. And he comes back and loses to Aljo. <laughs> loses to Aljamain Sterling. Loses to Marab. Anyways, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. No more fun at Bantamweight. That's it. Marab wins. He won't fight to Puria. He won't fight Holloway. He won't fight these fun guys. He won't bring enough. To, he won't. He won't bring more attention than O'Malley does. He won't bring any of that. We're, uh, we could have had O'Malley Capiria. O'Malley versus Umar. Way bigger fight. Way bigger fight. McGregor Khabib too. We could have O'Malley Capiria. O'Malley Holloway. O'Malley versus this guy, that guy. Um, O'Malley versus Pantoja, which would have been like that. I know apparently that beef. That could have been a fight they can do. Nope. Rob has to fuck it all up. 
I don't even know who to root for in Pereira Roundtree. I kind of want to see Roundtree win, but I kind of need Pereira to win in a way. Paul Elias, same thing. I don't mind either guy winning there. Chemayev Whitaker. Oh, we need Whitaker to fuck up Chemayev. We need Whitaker to fuck him up. We need Whitaker to fuck up Chemayev. But do we need it, though? Do we need it, though? Because I want to see DDP fuck up Chemayev and fucking shut up everyone again. Because I love when DDP shuts up everyone. He's about to fuck him up. He's about to fuck up Sean Strickland as well. Because logic makes sense, right? These wrestlers keep eating strikers. Strickland hasn't shot for a takedown in fucking five years. TP does it every fight. Submitted Israel Adesanya. Uh, took down Sean Strickland. Is going to submit him too soon. Took down Robert Whitaker. So if you're picking Sean Strickland to win, you're retarded. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace. Go fuck yourself.